Hello and welcome to the BMW i5 vehicle walk around. My name is JP Dunphy at BMW Fort Washington and I'll be walking you through the BMW i5. This particular one is a 2025 model a year. I just wanted to show if you're new to the car or even considering this car, some of the features, options, and things that make this stand out from our competition. Starting from the front, you can see that we have an entirely new design language of BMW's simplified elegance. And if you've had a previous BMW 5 Series, you might notice that our ADAS system or advanced driver assistance system, uh, sensor systems have moved from down here to the middle. This gives it a bigger surface area as well as a better view on the front, offering some more functionality as well. Also up top, you may notice that our cameras went from a three camera system when you get the advanced system to a two camera system, one of them being a 4K front facing camera. That is the only one found in BMW and nowhere else in the industry. Moving along the side, you can see that of course we have our elegance eye language going down the entire side with lots of options on the exterior for colors as well as wheels. All combined with interior options, you have over 214 options to choose from to make this simplified for you. In terms of the entire vehicle itself, you have a couple main options. No matter which version you go with, you're gonna have an 84 kilowatt hour battery that'll get you anywhere between 256 miles to 294 miles of a total range. This also comes in two configurations with either rear wheel drive only or all wheel drive with two motors, one in the rear and one in the front. Benefits of that be of course being higher regen and you know, no one doesn't like all wheel drive. <laughs> so moving to the back here, you have a couple options to charge this thing as you go. You have either uh, BMW's AC charging. This can charge up to 11 kilowatts AC charging um, at a home level two charger, or you can also go DC charging for a 10 to 80 charge in about 29 minutes. Now, some major benefits of this is BMW does have Electrify America with complimentary charging for the 2025 model year up to 1000 kilowatts, and you have two years to use that. Now, if you're not using that, you can instead come to the back side of your i5 and inside of its class leading over 17 and a half cubic feet of trunk space, you will find BMW's flexible fast charger. This little guy comes with every car standard and every BMW electric vehicle. This charger allows you to use either a level one charger to use a standard wall outlet. Just so you know, this will take you almost four days to charge, approximately 80 hours total. Or you can opt for the second version, level two charging. This will be a NEMA 1450 plug, and the NEMA 1450 plug is a 240 volt, 50 amp plug that plugs into this and will fully charge your car overnight in approximately 10 hours. Of course, being, being, being BMW's full electric car, there are no tailpipes in the back, giving it a smooth form factor all around, and BMW's newest thing. A major benefit of BMW's simplified aerodynamics means that this car actually has one of the slipperiest coefficients of any car in its class that's shared and not solely electric, meaning this car shares its platform with its EVs and non-EV variants all around. To get the same level of drag coefficient of 2.3, I'm sorry, 0.23, you're gonna to have to go to electric cars only. This one has the best of both. And with that, convenience access features allows us to get into the car with our phone with using digital key plus or convenience access features as well. Now with that, let's hop on inside and show you the rest. From the moment you sit inside BMW's interior, you're instantly greeted by BMW's well-known fit and finish. Where you find most of this is, of course, waiting for you as you step in, where you're greeted by BMW's iDrive 8.5 screen. This is BMW's giant curved display that you see directly in front of you, an all familiar iDrive controller, and several options for interior colors. And when we're talking about BMW's driver oriented cockpit, it makes a lot of sense for you sitting right here, where you're greeted by a very simple, easy to understand, ergonomic controls, two options for steering wheels, either this two-spoke uh, sport steering wheel or the M Sport with a third spoke down here. It also rounds it out and gives you a flat bottom as well. 
Then of course on the inside you have a multi option for your instrument cluster right here. Your instrument cluster is configurable in multiple ways. Three layouts between sport, standard, and efficient layouts. Lots of content options for the center, so you can make this centerpiece be whatever you want. Highly customizable for you as the driver, including my personal favorite, the AR view, where it augmented reality is introduced using the 4K front facing camera up here, and it superimposes your turns, lane to be in, um, driver assistance options, all of that in here. Turn by turn preview, mini map, G meter and music. Head-up display being optional, you also have options for that, where you can change it between a standard view and over <clears throat> overhead view, augmented reality view, and, or sorry, driver assistance view, turn by turn view, and sport view as well. Moving over to your main control display over here, everything on here is a nice, quick, easy, fast touch response screen. You have your quick options on the left right here. Quick select feature, which allows you to simply tap right in the middle here and turn on your heated seats, heated steering wheel, and ventilated seats. This bar on the bottom right here is here 24-7, 365 inside the car. So you can be in CarPlay or any of your apps, and this will always be on the bottom, making temperature controls super easy and straightforward. You, of course, have all the ones that you may need right off the bat. Vent controls over here and vent direction underneath. Hidden controls make this seem a lot nicer and more elegant, allowing two streams of air to come out here that counteract and let you point the air up or down by adjusting that down below. Of course, you have everything else we need right there with our defrosters. Down here, we have a two-sided option for your phones. Left side charges, right side doesn't. It does have a low time option right there, 15 watts max, key one standard. Moving on to our, whoops, sorry, there's a little bit of the layer there. Moving on to our main control display here, or uh, main gear selector right here, we have BMW's all familiar iDrive controller with quick selects for media, telephone navigation, home buttons, driver uh, settings, my modes, parking assistance, and of course, volume controls. Now, one thing that sets BMW's electric cars apart from others is their ability to do multiple options when going into drive. So, for instance, let's go into our drive mode and show you your five options. Now, when you go into energy and recovery in normal drive, you have four of them right here. High, medium, low, which are just standard um, straight up options, and then adaptive. Adaptive uses the front facing radar to change uh, regen based on what it sees in front, whether it's cars, turns, or otherwise. And last but not least is of course, B mode, otherwise known as brake mode. Now brake mode, allows you to use your car as that many other electric vehicles offer using one pedal driving. So brake mode will take regen all the way to a complete stop. The other modes don't do that, uh, but it still allows you to, if you are coming from say another EV and trying out BMWs, you'll get access to one pedal driving, allowing you to basically start to anticipate when to take off your foot and you'll start to get used to literally making your brakes never have to be used, which is a lot of fun. It's also very entertaining to go years and still have the same brake pads and just have to replace the fluids because that will start to oxidize over time. Hyper simplifying BMW's ergonomic controls allows you to get multiple quick access to your menus where you'll see menu, driving menu, interior lighting menu, exterior lighting menu, and of course quick touch controls for home screen here and here. So if you want to touch, oops, Allows you to quick touch anything you want, whether you want controllers options, touch screen options, or most importantly, BMW's personal assistant, quick touch, voice options. You might be able to see that in my head up display. With wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you can also use your phone's personal assistant if you prefer that system as well. Either way, you have BMW's personal assistant or your phone's assistant always available for voice control right off the bat. Speaking of control, our control display now makes all of the settings and options a quick touch away, now displayed as apps. Going through here, it's really quick to find all the features that you want with color coding to tell you what's based on infotainment versus vehicle settings, and of course, quick select options to be able to quickly see what you have 
for a vehicle or infotainment. Another option that has been added with iDrive 8.5 and first came in the i5 last year is BMW's Air Console and TiVo Video. This allows you to use the Air Console to play games inside the car when stopped, as well as watch videos and internet TV using that feature. And purchasing a function has never been easier by simply going into your store, finding whatever function you want, one simple tap where it loads your offer, and you can either conform, you can either pay for it in the MyBMW app or via QR code to open it in your browser. Speaking of the MyBMW app, the app is more integrated and easy to use than ever before, allowing you to have quick and easy access to vehicle data, preconditioning options, charging options, whether or not you want to charge during a certain window. You have access to remote windows up and down. You have a remote 3D view as well as a theft alert option. You also have digital key plus management inside there and e-route planning. When it comes to BMW e-route planning, it's super easy inside the vehicle as well as inside the My BMW app. Benefits of doing in the My BMW app is you can pop in not only your destination, but see everything from the point of leaving to the point that you'll get there, including things like your charging stations, the power of those charging stations, what network they're on, whether or not you'll be able to stay there and how long you'll need to stay there to reach the next station afterward. And it factors in things like traffic, leave time, and you can even change exactly when you're going to leave so you can see that in real time and kind of pre-plan based on known traffic patterns ahead in the future. When it comes time to make the most out of your BMW EV experience, you have the option of changing your things like your charge settings and preconditioning, not only in the My BMW app, by going to your charge settings, and then going to departure times. Benefits of doing this means that not only will the car be warmed and or cooled down for you at the time of your departure, but also the battery pack will be at optimum temperature, maximizing your range. Now, you know, after you do it in here, you can also do it inside the vehicle by going to your vehicle settings, charging, and going to your charge mode, departure plan, where you can set these up inside the vehicle, AC limit, where you can change exactly how much AC power is coming in, charge target, lock settings, so if you don't, you're able to automatically unlock at the end of charging, here's where you do that, as well as constantly leaving your flap open, so you don't need to unlock your car to open up. A manual option for preconditioning the battery means that if you're using an alternative option like Apple CarPlay, which doesn't automatically condition when on their way to a DC charger, you can hit this one instead to help it. And then last but not least, introduced in the BMW i5 is BMW's Plug and Charge. BMW's Plug and Charge is part of your Electrify America plan in the My BMW app that allows you to, after your plan is linked to your BMW ID, allows you to simply go up to any DC charger from Electrify America, plug in, it will automatically authenticate and start charging to your plan as long as you have one. If you don't have a plan, it will charge you just like normal, allowing you and your general charging experience on the road and road trips to be that much more simplified. Another extremely useful feature of the My BMW app allows you to have instant access in the app to your financial papers, allowing you to manage any of your financial needs for making payments, getting payoff quotes, and any other functions you might need from BMW Financial. Last but not least is BMW's $2,500 driver assist professional option. So Highway Assistant allows me to go hands-free on the highway as long as it is mapped with our HD maps and allows me to change lanes when prompted simply by looking at the proper mirror. So I look to the right and there she goes. Ta -da! Last thing left to do, go to your local BMW dealer and ask for a test drive. Because even if it's electric, it's still the ultimate driving machine.